for you I do that three, four times again I testify for you I told I like you, that bitch like you And all that I'm around, you scared to do it I'm not, as long as you joking Now it for me, I ain't got it I've been skimming, looting Hide your body, as long as you dreaming about me Okay, hey y'all, I am home and now I'm about to give y'all my hygiene routine. So I'm gonna put it in like categories, but I'm gonna start, I guess, from head to toe, I guess, like something like that. Okay, my oral care is very, very like simple. Like it's not difficult at all. But okay, so when I was in the store, I said I probably didn't need toothpaste. I actually did need toothpaste, but I'll just go like tomorrow or something back some toothpaste. But um, this is the toothpaste I use, and here's a I just bought this new toothbrush. But this is my toothpaste and toothbrush. I just use the Crest 3D Whitening, and this is a regular toothbrush. So here it is. And yes, y'all, this is almost out, but that's what i use and then for mouthwash this is my all-time favorite mouthwash like they have di a whole bunch of different ones but i feel like this is the best one out of all of them because i mean it doesn't leave a bad taste in my mouth it's minty it's just like the best one so here it is and i love it and then like i sometimes use like a tongue scraper but it's like the disposable ones but i don't really like those so i need to get like a um What's the one? Like one of those like metal type ones. That's the ones I need to buy. Um, but also because I have like braces, I use these like floss so that I can floss my teeth. And I do this every time I eat and like before I brush my teeth and after. And I use these so much like I run through these for real. But that's pretty much my oil care. It's just really, really basic. Just all of this. Like that's it. Let's get to my skincare. Now, my skincare is a bit, like, it changes a lot. So, this is just, like, I'm going to give it to y'all, but I'll probably make a separate video when I fully got a down pack skincare routine. But, because I, like, I started off using CeraVe um, face wash, and then, like, it started getting irritating. So, then I started using Cetaphil, but I'm not going to lie, Cetaphil has not been working, like, that much for me, I feel like. So... I'm switching it again but um here's the one i just bought actually is this one uh i don't know how to say it i think it's like la roche posy i don't you know what i'm not even gonna like try to pronounce it because i don't know it like okay but this is the face wash that i got and it's the hydrating gentle cleanser and it's for normal to dry skin and i told y'all like my skin's oily, but lately it's been really dry, so I'm going to try this out. I use this CeraVe Hydrating Toner, and it really, like, I don't know. I just like using the toner because it makes sure that your skin is, like, completely clean. Even though you um, wash your face, it just gets off anything else that you missed. After my toner, I use the CeraVe Eye Cream, and I've been using this for so long, actually, like, so long and it just makes sure you don't have like dark circles or bags under your eyes and i don't have none for real because of it for my this was my old moisturizer i used to use the cerave lotion which i like i use it today but i i'm switching into a new one now but this was my old one and now my new one that i just bought today was this avino and it's a calm and restore skin therapy balm and it's for sensitive skin too because my skin is sensitive but this also um helps restore your um skin barrier and that's what i actually need to restore because i damaged it apparently like i looked it up and that's why my skin's been acting up but so i need to restore it and i'm hoping that i'm hoping that these new two items work like i will tell y'all if it works and if y'all i'll recommend it to y'all so don't go by this yet because i don't know how it's gonna work on me yet but I'll tell y'all. And mind you, everybody's face is different. So what I'm using might not work for you. And then I got two creams I use. Now these, like, 
these aren't coming out of my skincare routine. Like these are what prevents my acne. Like I know here and there I get like a bump or so, but overall my skin doesn't like break out, break out. Um, but okay, so for the daytime, when I use this, and I don't know how to pronounce it, but that is what I use. But actually, I know how to pronounce it. It's like azealic acid. Yeah, that's what I use. And it's a gel. It's a 15%. And then for night, I don't know how to pronounce this. But it's also a gel. And it's like more of a like a glowy. Okay, I'm trying to like. Y'all don't mind my nails. I need to get them redone. But yeah, that is the gel I use. So these two. Now these work, cause this like clear my skin up all the way. So I would definitely recommend these two creams. Now I got these from my dermatologist. So you have to go to a dermatologist to get these creams, but I do recommend these because it's really helped my face out like so much because like last, like the ending of last year, no, not, okay. Never mind. Cause I was gonna say last year, but I forgot it's a new year now, but the ending of 2022 into 2023 like my skin was horrible like it just broke out so bad and like i was real insecure but i went to a dermatologist got these face start clearing up so i'm recommending this to y'all for real but that is my skincare routine a lot of y'all asked for it and that is what i do and for lip care i'm saying what i use for my lips so at nighttime I either use Aquaphor or this Vaseline Balm. Now these two, and I also scrub my lips to keep them, you know, really soft and make sure there's no like dead skin, no dryness on my lips. So I scrub them with this and it's a lip scrub. And then I use these at night. And then lip glosses I recommend is these two also now i just um my sister bought me the dior lip gloss for christmas it hasn't came in yet but that's a new lip gloss i'm trying to try but these i definitely recommend my sister put me onto this but y'all need to get this it's covergirl yummy gloss and these are the two i got right now but they're so good and then now let me get into my body care okay now this is the more interesting part well i mean i guess it was interesting but here's my like body stuff so when i first get in the shower these are my main soaps first is an antibacterial soap now this i recommend everybody get them this antibacterial soap this is from dove and an antibacterial soap is to actually clean off bacteria off your skin because if you go in with sensitive soap or a scented soap oh baby your your skin is not getting clean like you are not actually getting clean you're just putting scents over your like over your body but it's no bacteria actually washing off your body so that's why i recommend first when you get in the shower use the antibacteria like i recommend this to everybody and i'm gonna keep on saying it because Nobody, I be peeping that people don't be getting antibacterial soaps and you need to get an antibacterial soap. So this is gonna get the bacteria off your body. This is gonna actually get you squeaky clean. And it's not harsh on your skin, y'all. Like, this is even good for sensitive skin people. Like, this is good. And then after that, I go in with my sensitive Dove soap. And now this, I mostly use the sensitive Dove soap at night or like, Cause sometimes I ain't gonna lie y'all, I be lazy sometimes. So I don't like be in the shower for that long. Like, okay, I'm not gonna lie. My showers be long, but like the more steps I add is just longer. So nighttime, I use a sensitive soap for sure. Like this is, but this is more for like calm days when like I'm not in the mood, I use this. So these, these are the two I would use. But now when I'm going out, like getting ready, like during the day, going out to school anywhere just like even most of the time i even do it at night because i like smelling really good at night too but i'll do it at night the day anything these are like my scented soaps that i use now this this is the first one and it's method and this is the um coconut rice milk and shea butter shea butter shea butter shea butter 
whatever that. I think it's shea butter. But um, Method Body Soap. And this, now I'm, I'm telling y'all now, this smells good. It smells like um, vanilla pretty much. Like vanilla and coconut for real. Like it smells really good. But lately though, I've been into um, Native Soap. Now Natives, this one smells so good. Like this is the coconut and vanilla one. And I use this every day. Like this, this is good. This smells so fire. Like it just smells really, really good. And I'm more into vanilla scents and stuff. Like, I don't know. When I use other type of scents, I get tired of it so quick. But like I noticed with these type soaps, I don't get tired of it. And this is something I can keep on wearing. Yeah. But I just got me another one. And this method soap is coconut milk. And this one smells really good too. But as y'all can see, like I wear a whole bunch of coconut vanilla type. But like it don't be the strong vanilla, like vanilla bean type scent. It's not one of those. Because me, I don't like those type of vanillas. I like the like common, just a real smell good type vanilla. So I recommend these scented soaps. And Method is actually just like a really good soap. Like it's really, it gets real soapy. It's really, really moisturizing. Like it makes your skin soft, smell good. It's just really good. So I recommend that. And then same with Native. Native smells good. So get these y'all. It is the, um, okay, it's kind of like, you know, it's used and stuff, but this is the body scrub that I use in the shower, and this is vanilla scented, and it's actually, you know, plain on vanilla, and this one smells fire, like, I'm telling y'all, I love vanilla, like, that's really my scent, like, vanilla is, smells so good, but, um, yeah, so this is my scent, and this is the one I use, now, I recommend using a, um, body scrub about two, three times during the week. So yeah, I really recommend that, especially or like when you're about to shave, body scrub. And then also, this is the new, what's it called? Shaver, razor, oh, I said shaver, razor. It's the new razor I use. It's called Billy. And this is what it looks like. It's a five blade razor. And I'm not gonna lie y'all, when I use this the first time, this ate like, this is this is a good razor i like this and um this is what it looks like though and i kept the box so i can show y'all but and then that's my razor now this ain't tmi we girls like anybody watching this y'all want no hygiene so i mean but so when it comes to like my booty crack <laughs> and when it comes to shaving that i use like a two blade or like a one blade because it's just easy to like go and shave your booty crack like I don't know, and I feel like if I'm about to shave my downer, I want to shave my butt too, like, you know? I mean, I don't want no hairy butt. So this is what I use, it's just like a two blade razor. Okay, y'all, so I forgot to add this in the video, but this is the shaving cream that I use. It's um, it's called Cremo. Yeah, it's called Cremo, and it's coconut mango, but this smells good, and it's a really good shaving cream too, and it helps with, um, you know, like razor burn, irritation, all that. It's good for sensitive skin, too. I just wanted to put that in there because I totally forgot to add it. Coochie care. I'm going to give y'all that. In the shower, this is the wash I use. And it's the VH Essentials Tea Tree Oil and Probiotic Daily Feminine Wash. And it's a really good wash. It's like, yeah. It's like, it's really good, to be honest. I've been using it for a little minute now and i like it it's good it's good for it like my down there is so sensitive y'all like i have a really sensitive down there like it's it's like so sensitive so anything can throw it off like so when i recommend a product for down there i recommend the product so uh yeah so this is what i use and then i always use it a, fi a feminine wash y'all i don't use um sensitive dove soap or any dove soap down there because one thing i peep that is when i used to use a since my like sensitive dove bar soap it always irritated my downer like it was always irritating and then that's when i started like switching my products because i was getting so irritated with that soap so i don't recommend sensitive dove soap i don't recommend it but i mean it might work for some people but it just don't work for me so i do recommend this though it's a really good soap and i'm not gonna lie y'all it's hard to find it's better if you order it because not a lot of stores have this soap with my 
like coochie care. So like after I shave, I use this and it's called Vanish PFB. And this is for like ingrowns, razor bumps, razor burns, all that you use that after you shave to help it. And then I also have a scrub. It's called like, it's like something bumps, but like I ran out of it. So I'm gonna have to show y'all in another video when I get it, but it worked. Like I have razor bumps and stuff. Like I have bad ones. Like that's the only bad thing about shaving. So when I started using that though, it really started improving. So I gotta get more of that, but this is what I've been using. Also, I use this cocoa butter for like when I get done shaving because, or like even when I'm not shaving, like you wanna put a cocoa butter, like anything like that down there just to like, cause if you're moisturizing your body, you need to moisturize your coochie. And I don't mean inside your coochie or like inside the lips, like that type. I mean the outer lips and the top part of your coochie. That's what I mean when you put this on it. It's like you're putting lotion on, but yeah, and this doesn't irritate you, nothing. It's just plain old cocoa butter. Probiotics and stuff for my down there. I use this VH Essentials. And this is the, actually, it goes with the soap. So this is like the same product that's made with this. It's pretty much like this. It's pretty much this soap version of this. Okay? So it's not only your outer health and your coochie. This is your outside health. This is your inside health. Okay, so yeah, these are just um, probiotics and it's prebiotics with probiotics with prebiotics and cranberry. And then also I use the uh, cranberry supplements too. So I recommend these two to keep up with your pH and your vagina health, all that. One thing I don't play about is my hygiene. I'm telling you now, I recommend all of this. Like, that's one thing everybody always asks me, what's your hygiene? And I'm gonna give it to y'all because I recommend I'm gonna put y'all on. I'm telling y'all. One more thing. And then this, these are just Huggies wipes. You can get like any sensitive wipes that's no fragrance and stuff. Just any flushable wipes. Well, okay, these are not flushable, but I still flush. But uh, yeah, so I use wipes for when I'm using the bathroom because first of all, toilet paper, y'all, does not get y'all clean like wiping with toilet paper does not get you clean all it does is absorb your pee absorb your duty like it don't get you nowhere like i'm telling you now but with wipes you're actually cleaning yourself after you pee you're cleaning yourself after you duty especially after your duty y'all use wipes like i'm telling y'all now especially after doing number two use wipes shower like and if you can't get to a shower these your best friend and i would even recommend getting some too for your purse or for school because that's what i do too like i don't care if i'm in school or out of school i got wipes okay i'm telling y'all now but okay so now we're gonna get into like my lotion perfumes all of that type of stuff okay this is my main too like if I'm using a lotion for real, I'm mainly using this one, if I'm being completely honest. And this is my combo. It's just the Vaseline Cocoa um, Radiant Lotion. This is what it looks like. It's just Vaseline. And now, I'm telling y'all now, this is like an OG lotion. And it smells so good. Like, this is something I grew up on. Like, my, this is something my daddy was always using. And then, like... I use like I'm not gonna lie like it's some my daddy stayed using and this too like so and I'm telling you now y'all anybody who uses it smells fire like this goes with like the vanilla cocoa like that type of scent so yes this smells good and when I tell y'all like it's good it's good and plus my skin be glowing like after I use this little combo glowing I'm telling y'all and I do recommend using an oil with your lotion just to have an extra glow, have that extra moisture and make you just look more you. Like, I don't know. Like, I just like it. But I also have a Method lotion. Now, this goes with, this is, oh, shoot. This is the same scent. I got this combo. So when I use this soap, I use this lotion. 
um and it's really good too like this one smells just like the soap and it smells really good and y'all i did not know they had a lotion at first until one day i was in a store and i seen i was like oh yeah let me get this so this is another combo when you're doing this now i use this for any other like if i'm using any other my soaps i use this but this with this and then i also i use this lotion and this is the velvet petals now i use this lotion like when i'm going out somewhere or you know just like anywhere like you know you want to smell extra like really good like you know like i wear this like if i'm going somewhere going to school or anything like that but like i also wear this one but i mostly wear like these type at night but i wear these during the day too i'm not gonna lie but this i wear this a lot too and this goes with um my scent this is velvet petals by victoria's secret and y'all this is my like all-time favorite perfume favorite scent because you can never go wrong with this scent when i tell you i will never get tired of this scent i will never like it just smells so good and it's like such a girly scent like it's literally a girl scent for real like this is never goes wrong like i'm telling you now this is this is so good this smells really good but i also have um this per seduction lotion too now if i'm being honest i don't use this one as much because really my main one is velvet petals but sometimes i will use this with this perfume um i use it sometimes but it's rare that i use these if i'm being honest it's rare i like lotions and stuff i use and then here's my deodorant i use it's just the dove um beauty finish and it smells good it's just like a girly clean scent like that's literally what this is just smells really girly and clean and then I always use Dove, y'all. I just feel like Dove's the best one for me. Go so into my perfumes. And this is the perfumes that I use, which, and I showed y'all two already, which was Velvet Petals. I use this so much. Like, when I tell y'all, anytime I go to the mall, I will get so many of these. Like, I'll get, I done went in the store and bought four of just Velvet Petals. Like, I'm telling you, it's my all time favorite. So, I recommend Velvet Petals. And then this is pure seduction but and then here's also i love uh bear vanilla bear vanilla all three of these smell good and bear vanilla i use this one when i'm using my vaseline lotion and oil i use the bear vanilla or even if i'm using any lotion that's vanilla i'm using this so these are such good these are my all-time three favorites but to be honest it's really these are my main like pure seduction after I get done using this, I probably won't rebuy it. But I'm only just trying to keep it so I can finish using it. But this is the two that I would keep on buying. Bare Vanilla and Velvet Petals. And then, uh, Bombshell. This is Bombshell Passion. And when I tell y'all, this smells fire. And I like, I got the big bottle. Like, they come with, like, they, they have a mini one. I used to have the mini one, but... I want the big bottle now because it smells like really good. And so this is what it is. Victoria's Secret Bombshell Passion. I have the uh, Saul Gennaro. Okay, you know what? I don't know. I'm not pronouncing this. But y'all get it. Y'all see this perfume everywhere. TikTok. TikTok for real. YouTube. I mean, everybody done got this perfume. Like, it was going viral for a while. And I think it's still going viral. I don't know. But this is the perfume it is. I got 68. Now, this smells good. But I don't know if I would just, like, buy this brand. Like, I don't know. Like, this one smells good. This one gives, like, girly clean. And I use this one mainly at nighttime, though. I don't use this that much during the day. It's mostly just at night. But I do recommend it. For a night scent well okay for a day scent too i mean it do smell good but it's not my favorite but it smells good it's the chance by chanel and it's the el tendre i don't okay you know what i don't know ew to i don't ask me just know this is what it looks like though it's chance chanel and this y'all it smells so good like this is one top feminine sense like you smell fire with this on 
Like, girl, you're in your soft era. Like, you are in your soft girl era with this thing. Oh, I'm telling you now, this is it. But right. this is the Valentino. And, a hey, Valentino, you can never go wrong with Valentino. Like, my sister put me onto this. I'm not even going to lie. But this smells... This is it. Like, giving you that girl. Like, it's that it girl scent. That's what this is. I recommend it. It's, it's fire. So, these two... Mm -hmm. and then the next one i got now i never smelled this until like when i got it for christmas but this is the bombshell glamour by victoria's secret and this one smells good too like this one is giving yeah you girl you smell fire like this is giving that girl too like i'm telling y'all all three of these they they that girl okay I'm telling y'all now like especially that girl so that is my hygiene routine i hope y'all enjoyed it because i enjoyed putting y'all into all this hygiene stuff and I